Hey, Calvary United Methodist Church, thanks again for taking a few moments uh, each week to drop in to see not only what's happening in the life of Calvary, but pausing for a moment to consider ways you might grow more deeply in your discipleship. We just went through a phenomenal World Communion Sunday, as well as our blessing of the animals. I'm so grateful for those who helped make that happen. It was a really wonderful afternoon. We got to meet a lot of our neighbors and uh, their furry loved ones as they came to be blessed. Um, it's my understanding we blessed somewhere around 50 animals on Sunday. So it was a wonderful opportunity to gather together with our community. So let me point to a couple other ways we gather. Each week when we gather, I often highlight that in worship, 8, 15, and 10, 30, you can be here in person and online. I want to highlight that this next week for Metro schools and for a lot of our, our local private schools, this is fall break. And so there's a lot of folks, myself included, that are taking some time away. That's a good thing. I want to encourage our families to take time to be together, to press, to be present with one another. It's also a good reminder, though, of the importance and the gift that is connecting with people within the community of faith, whether that's online worship, checking in with your connection group or your Sunday school. Don't miss out on those opportunities to check in with one another. Um, we are still here doing work and ministry in our community, and we want you to be a part of that. But we also want to support you and pour into you. So when you take time to pause, to go visit family, to take a rest in the midst of the work, um, that you remember that there are ways you can connect and worship online. Uh, you can reach out. There are some small groups that happen through Zoom. So all of those are ways we're trying to encourage your discipleship day in and day out, both in person and online. Um, so look for those this week. Uh, as we move through the month of October, you'll see some other things begin to pop up in your awareness, like our Children's Sabbath that's coming up at the end of the month, as well as our Trunk or Treat. Um, so be looking ahead. There are ways to connect and to invite friends and neighbors to be a part of that with us. Thankful to be with you today. Hope you have a great week. Blessings.